I had a really cool request this afternoon at school for one of the old Doom video games, um, the theme tune. So I'm going to put in a quick drum track at 185 BPM and I'm going to see if we can play it through. And it's going to sound like this. other parts as well which is on your PDF file that you're going to be receiving with this but not much more let's get to learning how to play this really cool really fun retro 80s style metal riff and focusing on your picking hand for starters you got your PDF in front of you there's a lot of bass notes inside there, a lot of open zeros you can see them and be starting off on your sixth string open so you're going to actually see it vibrate as well. You can actually see the string vibrating there. And then we're bringing the ring finger in for fret 7. So slow motion, zero, zero, 007. Now I'm showing a gap over here just to explain what happens next but timing wise there shouldn't be a gap. You're going to go zero, zero, 005 then zero, zero, 003 Zero, zero, 001 and then zero, zero, 0023 with a hammer on. And I'm going to take it a bit quicker now, not much quicker, and it should look and sound something like this. Now you'll notice when I'm playing, my palm is resting quite heavily on my bridge over here to make sure my low E string is muted. A lot of palm damping, a lot of palm muting. This is without it. You can hear the string, the string squad while there. Over here it's much more controlled, much more contained. And then we're going to go through slowly. You can actually see the movement and listen to the timing. that some of the notes are quite high pitched that's a pinched harmonic which I'll explain later so if yours sounds like this that's fantastic you're doing it right okay now you could do alternating strokes as well but I think for this one over here I'm gonna go with down strokes because it's fun it's not that fast and um, it's a good exercise to get if it works for James Hetfield could work for us too. Now I'm going to just try it a bit slower for you as you're dialing in a slower speed of say 120 and um, let's see if you want to play through with me. Let's go. I'm going to try and get a bit more of an overview of the guitar here. There we go. And one, two, three, four. Now that's the first top line that they say times two. So what do you do? You play it again. Okay. The next line, at first glance, <clears throat> there's no difference. But if you look carefully, everything you've just done, this whole simply moves one string down. So you can see my picking hand as well. I want to bring it back into the foreground here. And from here, you started here. You can see my pick moving down from the E string to the A string. And you can hear the pinch the money comes through. It just sounds so sweet. And it's a very, I want to say aggressive song, but I don't quite know how to put it as well. It's from the the Doom game, so the nature of the game and the music is quite sort of up tempo and in your face from the start. So once you can play the top line, you in effect can play the bottom line too. After you play the bottom line, or the second line rather, sorry, once through, you go to the third line, which is in essence sort of the same. Okay, but back to the E string again. So in short, you're starting here, go through twice, drop to the fifth string, go through once, then you're back to. Sorry, 
any opportunity I can get to play the riff, I just really like it. It's just so much fun. Um, you play through that again once. So it's two from E, one from A, and then one from E again. And then the fun starts. I'm going to definitely want to focus on your fretting hand with this one over here because your finger notations, you see mine, are numbered. <clears throat> Using the right fingers is crucial. Okay. Slow motion, you're starting off on this note. This note is what? I'm hoping everybody is saying it's C sharp because it is C sharp. Okay. Get to know your notes, please. I noticed too many guys play phenomenally well. And you say, give me a C sharp, and they look at me blank. And <laughs> that's actually quite that's not cool. You want to know there's notes, it's gonna help you in the band room. Okay. Slow motion, fourth line. You got an octave over here from this four to the six. Double fours, you'll notice they're running halfway through the bar. Up to the four there. And the seven of it there, definitely get the pinky involved. It's a bit of a stretcher, but it's definitely going to help you. And then you're going to have a nice diminished feel. You can hear the sound. That's the flattened fifth or diminished sound. So it's going to be. And then you end up with a. And that gives a nice sort of almost minor blues sort of sound with a bit of a diatonic effect. I'm not going to explain the theory now. Okay. But let's go through the drift slowly up until the double twos. It's going to look and sound like this slow motion. And again, do this hammer ons. It's a nice technique to do, it gives a nice legato feel to it and also breaks the dum 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 picking the whole way through. It gives a bit more dynamic, a bit more sort of colour to your playing as well. And you can see with the picking hand when I get to the last 6-7. Just watch it and you can hear the hammer on taking place there as well. I'm going to count the synths. If you want to play through with me, you may. 2, 3, 4 and... as well you can see my fingers grabbing those strings that's to make sure they don't make any noise because you're using a lot of overdrive or a lot of distortion it's a very high gain sound so any noise like that can come through sort of quite easily so we need to keep your guitar quiet now after that you've got double twos we mentioned so you're going to go back to your fretting hand again and you're down to Watch it for the double zero three. That changes. So it's going to take it to one more time. That's the string noise I'm talking about. That's all we need to keep our guitars so under control. From the double two four. Double two five. Open, open three. And we've got the basic riff. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to play through the entire fourth line nice and slow because this is the one I find that actually catches us the most and then it's just a case of a bit of time but a lot of coffee whatever makes you happy and you'll get it right okay slow motion on the count of four one two three four and <laughs> Listen to this and tell me if you don't recognize it. Yes, it's repeat to the first line. So we've actually covered all the tunes, all the riffs for the Doom uh, theme tune. Now I'm going to quickly just demonstrate with the pinch harmonic what needs to be done there. So I'm going to need to get a bit closer here. First of all, whatever note I'm going to pinch harmonic, I'm going to pinch harmonic this one. You can hear the differences. This is normal. Pinch the monic. Now, what we're doing over here, I'm hoping you can see this because it's difficult to see the movement. I'm picking my string really, really hard and my thumb is resting against the string. So as my plectrum leaves that string, See, nothing happened, and that's actually sort of meant to nothing happen. 
because your pick is hitting the side of your thumb and then your thumb must come off because if you keep your thumb there it makes it die so slow motion again it's that sort of a vibe but only one movement next string same thing and the same thing here so in short to summarize it i'm going to show it my with a pen here, yeah, I think it's probably the easier way to do it as well, perhaps. Mm. I'll turn my overdrive down or my guitar down a bit. Imagine this over here is my string. Okay, it's a bit of a thick string. It's my pen, okay, for illustration purposes. <clears throat> I'm going to pick the string really super hard, very aggressive. As my pick slides off, my string will then slap back, hit the side of my thumb. That creates the high pitch, the pinch demonic, and then my thumb must go off. Now what I explained in about 10 seconds there must actually happen at this speed. So you don't even see the touch, but you can definitely hear the effect of it. One more time. So it's a very cool technique to get going. That's me for now. I hope you're enjoying the, the Doom song and have a good week. Cheers.